Welcome to this James the Bike Guy. We're checking out today the 2021 Trek Dual Sport 3. This is a really neat dual sport style hybrid where you can ride it either on the road or on unpaved paths as well. So in this video, we're gonna check out some of the things that make this Trek Dual Sport 3 unique, such as the features and the designs of this rig, as well as we'll go over all of the specs of the bike and finally, we'll find out exactly what it weighs. So if this kind of thing is interesting to you, then go ahead and stick around and consider hitting that subscribe button. That way you can see more videos like this into the future. So as we begin to check out this bike, it's important to talk about what the dual sport bike is for. So in Trek's lineup, they've got a bunch of different categories of bikes and one of the overarching and most popular categories is something called a hybrid. And a hybrid is a mix between road bikes and mountain bikes to create something in between that generally can do more than just one thing. Think like an SUV. And in this case, this is a dual sport hybrid, just as the name dual sport three might indicate. And the dual sport means that this is really designed where it's gonna be able to do pretty great riding on the road, but it can also do dirt paths, gravel, and even some light hiking trails as well. And that allows the bike to be super versatile. How they're gonna be able to do that is by having front suspension on the bike and these wider 700 by 40 millimeter wide tires. And basically with those two things, it's gonna help elevate the bike to where it can do more than just one thing. Now, this bike that we're looking at is gonna be in an absolutely gorgeous orange color. And in fact, they call this Trek Factory Orange. And it's done on an aluminum frame with internal cable routing. It's gonna have things like water bottle mounts, rack and fender mounts on the back end of the frame, allowing it to be able to carry your gear and keep you dry while you're out riding. Now, personally, I think the look of this bike is pretty cool. As we get a little bit further away from it, you can see it's got a nice stance to it, but the front end where the handlebars is, is high enough that you're still gonna be able to sit in a more comfortable position. Now, up front on the bike, it's got a front suspension. So this is an SR Suntour NEX fork. This is a 63 millimeter travel front fork. It's gonna have a hydraulic lockout to it, meaning you can make the front end of the bike totally firm. And then it's gonna use a coil spring that has a preload adjust on it to get it dialed in just like you'd like. Moving on from the fork, you're gonna see these Bontrager GR1 Expert tires. These are gonna be a 700 by 40 C tire, and they're gonna be mounted up on some Bontrager TLR rims. These are a disc brake specific rim with 32 spokes and they're gonna be laced to some formula hubs. Up front, you've got a formula DC20 front hub, which is gonna use a five by 100 quick release. And then out back, you're gonna have a formula DC22 rear hub, which is gonna be a 135 by five millimeter quick release. Moving on from the wheels is of course going to be the drivetrain. And that's a place where I think this bike comes out really nice. So this is set up with a Shimano Acera 2x9 drivetrain. So that means it's going to run two gears up front and nine in the back. And in this case, the rear derailleur is the Shimano Olivio M3100 rear derailleur that's operating a HG200 cassette from Shimano. This is a 9-speed cassette that runs 11 to 36 teeth, so pretty wide range in the back. And then it's going to roll forward through a KMC X9 chain to this Shimano crankset. The Shimano crankset uses aluminum arms, it's got the Holotech 2 spindle that goes through and a threaded bottom bracket, which means it's going to be a really reliable connection to the pedals. You're also going to have the Acera T3000 front derailleur to operate it between the two gears. And 
a combination of 4630 in the front end. Now with the 4630 and the rear being an 1136, that means you're going to have less than a one to one gear ratio, which equals a great gear range to be able to climb with. Now to slow the bike down, this is a place that is also pretty nice on the bike. It's using the Shimano MT200 hydraulic disc brakes. These disc brakes are two pistons. They're operated with this wider lever on the handlebar, which is going to give a bit more leverage. So you don't need as much hand pressure to get it to slow the bike down. And because these run a mineral oil setup and these 160 millimeter six bolt rotors, it's going to end up being pretty reliable. Of course, the brakes are going to be mounted up on a nice aluminum cockpit. So this is running a blender stem, which allows you to mount a cell phone, lights, things like that natively into the stem setup. And then of course, it's also got the Bontrager handlebar, which is going to be a nice wide aluminum handlebar with a 31.8 clamp. Moving to the back, you'll be perched up on a Bontrager saddle. This is the H1 saddle and it's going to be mounted on an aluminum 27.2 seat post. So that's a look at the features and the designs of this 2021 Trek Dual Sport 3. So now that we've taken a look at those, let's go ahead and find out exactly what this bike weighs. The actual weight of the Trek Dual Sport 3 is going to come in at 29.87 pounds. Thanks so much for joining me on this James the Bike Guy. I really hope you enjoyed taking a look at this Trek Dual Sport 3. Go ahead and let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below. Can't wait to hear what you think about this bike. While you're at it, be sure to hit the like button, which allows me to know that you enjoyed the video and YouTube to push it out to others. And of course, share it with your friends and hit that subscribe button. That way, you can see more videos like this in the future.